Alright, what's my one skin finder here and today we're playing some more uh, Killing of Flora 2 and we're going to be checking out some client side skins. So I've been browsing through my filtered out comments on the YouTube section and I must say some of them I'm kind of glad they got filtered out, but then I come across this dude. So Immortal Noob from two months ago said, you ever try some some of the client side skins? They look really cool. And I click the link and behold some freaking skins. So I'm just going to give them a go today and these skins are going to be linked in the description, you know, pretty much the same link you see on screen right now. And these skins are from, wait, what the hell is this? Piss the Punk. Piss the Punk? E exactly, that's your name, Piss the Punk. Nice. So just for today, I just picked out the support shotgun skins because I'm going to be playing the support but he does have stuff for the firebug, sharpshooter, even the SWAT. So the skins I picked out are the graffiti double barrel and AA-12, the white and red graffiti SG-500 or MB-500 whatever the hell it's called, and then we have the black and gold HZ-12, we got the bright metal and carbon fiber dragon's breath and on top of that the neon gradient M4 combat shotgun. Ooh, this is going to be juicy. Okay, just for the added bonus, I'm just going to be rating these skins from 1 to 5 Strassers and at the end I'm just going to see which skin got the most Strassers and that skin is going to be the best looking skin, at least in my opinion. And if you guys have any skin packs or just any good skins in general for me to try out, then be sure to leave them in the comments because reasons. Um, I mean, I might even do like videos dedicated to like custom skins. Who knows? Okay, just before we hop right in, I do want to give a massive, and I do mean massive, shout out to Brandon Cutler for $10 on the Patreon. Brandon, thank you very much, man. It really means a lot. $10, you could have, I don't know, went and bought some freaking drinks or something than just I don't know some beer probably didn't drink that shit but instead you gave it to me so I really do appreciate that so thank you Brandon very kind but yeah thank you all for this awesome ass support this past couple of months man it's really overwhelming and I really do appreciate it so again thanks to anyone who's decided to support on patreon man really helping out the channel and you know myself so for that I really am from the bottom of my heart, I'm very freaking thankful. Okay, two and a half minute intro, but keep in mind, I did change the map. I was recording, like, pretty much two times, and, you know, West London keep on crashing, so let's hope it's not going to crash at this map. Freaking Shoreline and Cove. Yeah, this map is, like, one of my favorites, man. It just looks so cool. Just mm, quality perfection. Okay, let's see the skins now. So this is the first skin called the Graffiti MB500. Now, in the game, it's called SG-500, so I don't know why it's called MB-500, doesn't make sense, but... Yeah, kind of subtle, kind of cool looking, so let's just go and kill these things as fast as possible, eh? And then let's just go and rate this weapon from 1 to 5 Strassers. Okay, let's just kill the stilt man, and then let's see what this skin looks like. Oh my god. You know what, it actually looks pretty cool, not even gonna lie. And this is going to be like the first time in forever that I'm not going to complain about the skin because I didn't actually spend money on it. I pretty much just went, downloaded it, and here it is. Right in my hands. Okay, right, here's... Okay, I do need, like, some ammunition just to, like, check the animations. Oh, here we go. I mean, it's kind of a cool skin. I would personally love to have it, but I guess I'm just going to give it... I mean, what should I give it? Okay, you know what, I'm just going to give it four Strassers out of five. I mean, it could have, like, the barrel a little bit more painted. But, you know, overall, four Strassers out of five, it's a pretty good deal. Okay, the next weapon on the list is the boomstick with the graffiti freaking skin. I mean, it's kind of subtle. You can, like, barely see it, but... I mean, it's still pretty freaking awesome. I mean, you can kind of see it, like, on the stock and on the grip. Okay, wait, I am just need to, like, kill these things and I'm just going to, like, show it where the light is going to be shining, because right now I can't see jack shit. Dude, I'm just like speeding through this, I can't even be bothered. But yeah, I do kind of like this map, Shoreline and Cove, and I'm just going to link like both the maps in the description, you know, like the West London and this one. I mean, I kind of wanted to play West London, but it crashed, so rest in pieces for that. So we are Pukey and we have a Husk. Okay, the dude's just like shooting from the far. But can you not get in? Oh, well, rest in peace is you. Okay, so this is the graffiti on the double barrel boomstick. Kind of cool looking. I mean, even when you, like, drop it on the floor, it looks kind of cool. So, yeah. Overall, I get this, like, three strassers out of five because it's not, like, fully covered in graffiti, but 
Still kind of cool though. Okay, next one I'm kind of like excited about. This is the black and gold HZ-12. Oh god, I mean this is pretty much what Dosh Walt skins look like, but it doesn't have one for the 8Z, so it's kind of cool looking. And I must say it's kind of better looking than the, the standard precious one. I don't know what Shreepar were thinking about adding precious skins looking that ugly, but... At least we have custom skins. Okay, Edar. Oh, I just like how you can just like destroy him in three seconds. And he doesn't even care. You know what? It's actually been a while since I played the HZ. And it's kind of cool. And I don't even have this thing like upgraded. Oh, Haz just shot and he completely whiffed. So I'm probably just going to retire the whole unboxing series and just going to like look for custom skins. Because let's be real here. Every single time I like unbox something. Wait, do you have a disagreement? But yeah, every single time I unbox something... I just get like a battle scar or field tested, which is kind of like ugly looking anyway, but you know what, this one, it actually looks kind of cool. Okay, Pukey, I do believe you have a little bit of trouble there, so I'm just going to like put you out of your misery, man. Just like that. Okay, you know what, I'm just going to be generous about this, and I'm just going to give it five Strassers out of five. It just looks so cool. Okay, the next one we're going to be taking a look at is the bright metal and carbon fiber dragon's bread. It was kind of cool on the picture, but right now when I'm holding it, it's kind of like, you know, meh a little bit. Still looks decent, though I'm not going to give it like zero strassers out of five, but still. Okay, I don't know where the carbon fiber is, probably like on the stock or something. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, it kind of looks cool when you like throw it on the floor. Okay, let's just try and like bash something and see the carbon fiber. Okay, I couldn't see the carbon fiber. Okay, bashing stuff, I can just barely see that carbon fiber, but still kind of cool that it's on there, but I can't even see it, so rest in pieces. Okay, reloading it kind of looks cool, I guess. You know, that bright shiny metal, it's kind of awesome looking, but still. Looked a little bit better on the picture, not gonna lie. Ah, okay, stupid ass Edars, no one likes the man. Oh, the dude's charging yet again, slow motion block. Just like that, I'm on 8. Why am I on 8? Okay, you know what, I'm just going to let the flesh bomb do the work. Or maybe not, because it's just going to like kill me. Okay, what the hell are you doing? I'm just like chilling here. Okay, flesh bound man, you're probably going to die in three seconds, <gasps> right? Yeah, there he goes. Okay, you're dead, stupid Edars, and right here. Okay, so this skin, when it's on the floor, it kind of looks cool, because of, you know, that like carbon fiber. Kind of nice. But overall, when you're like holding the skin, it's kind of meh, so I'm just going to give it like two Strassers out of five, I guess. Okay, the next one on the list is the Neon Gradient M4 Combat Shotgun. I mean, you know what? It actually doesn't look all that half bad. It kind of looks the same as on the picture. I mean, I was not expecting anything else. I mean, I wouldn't mind if it glowed a little bit, but... I mean, it's still kind of decent looking. And as always, a little bit overpowered once it's like only once upgraded. I mean, this is one of my favorite, like, shotguns to use, man. It's just, like, so satisfying. And, of course, we get a lot of quarter pounds. Because why would you not get these things? Oh, they're just, like, a two-shot. Okay, maybe three if you miss their head, but still. It's just so cool. Okay, e darts just get, like, one-shotted because I can. Oh, look at this. They're just, like, so satisfying to kill now. Because they, like, blow up. And are not like massive bullet sponges, so rest in peace as the previous update. Oh, I'm getting molested by spiders and stalkers on the beach. Who doesn't like that from time to time? Okay, so overall, this skin... You know what, if it glowed a little bit, I would give it like 5 out of 5 Strassers, but I guess I'm just going to give it 4... 4 Strassers. That seems kind of reasonable. Okay, now we have the AA freaking 12. Oh my god, this thing actually looks pretty freaking sick, man. Not even gonna lie. Oh god, I mean just look at that dude with like the sunglasses. It looks pretty cool. Okay, I do believe this is like one of my favorite ones and up until now, right next to the 8Z12, but... I mean, this one is kind of like unique. Okay, Spider's just going to bash you with my graffiti freaking AA12 because I can. Wait, is this even hell on earth? Okay, it is. Just double checking because up until right now, everything went pretty freaking easy. Yep, I do believe this skin is one of my freaking favorites up until now, man. I mean, just look at it. It actually looks pretty freaking decent. I mean, I'm just kiting these things around and just looking at the skin, man. It just looks pretty freaking cool. Okay, triple oof action. Don't mind if I do. Oh yeah, just look at this thing in the sunlight. Okay, AA12. As much as I love you, man, I'm just going to give you four and a half Strassers out of five. That's still pretty cool, though. Okay, so these are pretty much all of the skins. So I'm just going to, like, fully upgrade this and probably... 
you know what, I'm just going to save up for the M. Or no, I'm just going to go and buy the 8Z12 when I have enough money for it. So skip trader and let's see what we can possibly do. Okay, you know what, fully upgraded AA12, it's kind of like a powerhouse. On top of that, you can just like spam it and instantly like reload it. And of course I get flash pounds. Wait, is that like a quarter pound? Nope, it's an actual flash pound, just going to shoot him before he's actually going to come down. Just like that. Okay, that's like multiple freaking flash pounds and they are all real. Ooh, faction, don't mind if I do. Just like that. Okay, Scrake, let's do this shit and he's is dead with like zero to no effort okay let's wrap up the wave and then we're just going to be playing the boss probably just going to like whoop his ass with the a12 and the 8z12 it's gonna be kind of cool okay so i can't fully upgrade the 8z but it's still going to be kind of freaking decent okay so i do believe i rated this thing kind of high and i did rate this thing five stars or should say five strassers i mean just look at this thing i'm kind of like a sucker for you know subtle skins Wait, what? Oh, I'm back in here. Oh, of course I get the King Flash Pond. Why would I get something else? Okay, well, let's just go test out the A12 and then let's go and, I don't know, chop him up with the 8Z. Okay, where the hell? He's even going to spawn from his right here. Oh god, the laser is going to be pretty annoying here. Or maybe not. I mean, as long as I keep, like, dodging and doing random shenanigans, he can't do jack shit. I mean, this dude just has, like, zero with no chill. I'm just, like, kiting him around this place. Okay, why are you, like, changing directions? Okay, apparently that's what he wants to do. So I'm just going to like shoot him left and right. Okay, now he's going to do an attack. Then he failed at it. Okay, our fidget spinner attack. He's just so sad. Just like so random with his movements. Okay, got him once. Oh, he's already gonna gut me here. Pretty much. Okay, where the hell are the quarter pounds at? I only saw like one. Alrighty, man. And he's dead. Okay, what does this skin look like in third person? Okay, it's kind of like... Cool. Okay, what about this one? Oh, yeah, just like a solid chunk of freaking material. And on top of that, I even get like a freaking Summer Sideshow price ticket. Wait, do I have like... More of them? I don't think I do. Wait, let me check. Oh, I do actually have five Summer Sideshow price tickets, so let's just go and recycle this for the end of the episode. Please give me something decent. Oh, it's gonna give me a freaking chimney clock. Nice. How does this look like? Okay, since I have, like, bugged cosmetics on this dude, I'm just going to, like, check it on someone else, like, I don't know, faster or something. Okay, chimney clock. I mean... Kind of decent, I guess. It's just a freaking clock backpack, but still. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it was not, like, the best skin showcase type of video, but at least I got to play with some skins and share that you can actually have custom skins. That's kind of cool, right? So yeah, like I said, link in the description for both the maps and the skins. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Adios.